Well, that's it. Yeah, man. End of an era. <laughs> oh, you know, I'll go back and visit and stuff. But... Totally. But you're going to love New York. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. Thanks, man. You're a great roommate. It was, it was great living with you. And you're a great older friend, you know, buying us, buying us beers and whatever. I'm glad I could help. I don't know what I'm going to do without you. Take care, man. Take care. <laughs> well, uh, my ride's here, so... <laughs> I'll be back by the next long weekend. Later, dude. <clears throat> Later, man. Drops out! Blake, thanks so much for all your help today. You really didn't have to. Not a problem. Seriously, you spent a lot of time on this. You didn't have to. The pleasure was all mine. What are you doing? Whoa! <laughs> I'm sorry. Thought we were on the same page. Didn't I help you move in? It's not like I'm sweating or anything. You need to leave. Fine! Did you get the job? Yep. Hey, congrats. You love money. Yeah, I know. They gave me these employee forms. They're really making my head spin. Like, what does this even mean? Oh yeah, the W thing for withholding whatever tax. I've filled these out before. It's pretty simple. The more number of allowances you claim, the more money you get to keep. So, enter one if you have a spouse. Do you? No. No! Joe. Hmm? Hmm? So, no. 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 Okay. So, enter the number of dependents. Oh my god, I've wasted my entire life! Zero. So now you just. No! We're just adding I the numbers don't that. Care! I'm 20 years old! I don't want to add anything! So, this is your room. Yeah, yeah, my, um, my mom helped me set it up at the beginning of the year. Wow. So, I got this, uh, this dresser, or, um, actually, it came with the room. Um, I'll check this out. This is a photo of me as a baby. And this is a photo of me with my camp friends. Did you ever go to camp? No, um, sounds kind of stupid. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty formative experience for me. Um. So, do you want to go back down to the party, or...? Uh, one second. 
I got these orange sheets. And I thought it'd be, like, kind of funny. You know, like... What? Look, you seem like a pretty nice guy. The place but... is normally a mess, but I, I just cleaned it up so the, the desk area and the, this is, is looking um, you know, pretty put together. Yeah, so. but I, I think I'm going to go back to and the And this is my bookshelf. I'm an alligator. I'm a mama, papa coming for you. I'm a space invader. I'll be a rock and roll Catch a movie tonight? I'm sorry, do I know you? Oh, okay. In case the guy goes out of his way to do something nice for someone, uses his own hands to grab a dirty door handle so you don't have to and nobody notices. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. I said thank you. So I'll pick you up at eight. Could she possibly express frustration? Why are you asking me? I should say something to that asshole. Or you could just King Kong shut up a beat bop 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 see go to bit bit some sha 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 walk away to whoop. Stop fucking around. I don't know what they would say. Well, I don't know how to write a believable female character either. So you gotta figure it out, man. Hey, you can't throw those papers down here anymore, Buster. And we're on our period. And then, they start to make out for real. But no, you jackass! You wrote a period scene, I wrote a makeout scene. So what, Judy Blue? You are a child! There has to be another way! I hate you! Judy Blue! Don't call me! Stop! You're Judy Blue! No, I'm not! You're Judy Blue! Ah, uh, yeah. Cool. Those are two hot idiots. Now let's make that next one have nothing to do with them or you or me, just a completely different sketch. Hey, Katie! Susie, hey, how's it going? Good, good. Yeah, you, I feel like I haven't uh, seen you at all since I got back. That's right, you were abroad in Munich. Oh, uh, Mushin, technically, but yeah. 
Yeah, I was there all of last semester, so yeah. That must have been amazing. Yeah, it was uh, nothing like I've experienced before. Um, yeah, just to be at the forefront of that, it's one of the fastest growing cities in Europe. And I mean, I lived in this like small, tiny loft in the uh, just charming, enchanting uh, Ludwig Vorstadt um, community. So yeah, I just rode my bike to all of my classes, and all my classes were in German, which is amazing. And I feel like that just exponentially improved my German. Just, you know, completely immersed in it, talking to street vendors, uh, you know, experiencing German cinema. Yeah, I kept a... Uh, I kept a uh, Carnet du Voyage. Uh, yeah, if you want to check that out, so. Hey! Did you know that everyone waits at the crosswalks in Germany? Yeah. Well, uh, check out my blog. <laughs> Thanks. Before you say anything, just listen to me. I have been watching you for at least the past 30 seconds now, and I know what we can be. My... I'm sorry, what was your name? Merida? My Meredith. Over the course of our journey, I have watched us grow. I have seen you work on your papers, and I know that together, we can work. I can't see myself spending the rest of my life with anyone else. I mean, ever since your pen ran dry, my patience ran thin. I had to have you. And sure, sure, we have our problems. <laughs> Pens run out of ink. Pens get borrowed. But we can't let that stop us. So, my marriage proposal is more than just this ring and a dress, and a contract, and a great big party with our families meeting each other, and my great aunts cutting our big red velvet buttercream cake, and eventually our three beautiful children, our babies. It's an adventure. Thank you so much for all your help. You really didn't have to do all this. Oh, no problem. <laughs> didn't I do it, baby? Didn't I do it, baby? Gave you love you never knew. Oh, thanks. Didn't I do it, baby? Didn't I do it, baby? Get a job. <laughs> That's basically it. Just been another one of those days. Really? That's the weirdest thing. My graduation rates aren't going through either. So I just learned I may have to stay another semester, and between the two of us, I don't have the money for that. Well, then it's like, what am I paying for exactly? A strip of paper that says I know about creative writing? Whatever that means. I don't even know if I should be a writer anymore. I don't even know if I should be with Heather anymore. You know, for her. Because after a year of this back and forth and push and pull, I've messed up so much with her, sometimes I wonder, hey, do I qualify as a good person anymore? <laughs> kind of makes you think. Maybe I should just move to the woods, live as a hermit, and isolate myself from anyone I could possibly hurt. Maybe I will. Where? <laughs> <laughs> I never know really feels about me. She says she loves me, but if she really did, she quit dragging me around. <laughs> it's like, be with me and love me or get out of my life. <laughs> I'm just tired of being tortured by the thought that we can still work out. Oh, yes. Oh, man. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's like my Nana, you know? My Nana is just, Boop. just here one day, gone the next. The whole human life. And you know, was she making choices that she could reflect on positively before she was gone? Yeah, absolutely. She can't possibly know that everything she's doing might end up being a terrible life choice. Well, couldn't have known, because 
she's dead. She's dead, yeah. <laughs> but you nailed it, dude. That right on the head. That's that's perfectly understandable. All I'm saying is, based on the evidence we have, we're looking at the strong possibility of a cold, unfeeling universe. Just a bunch of black space, a few gases, a few atoms, and no real consequence. And no God? Probably not, bro. God. We're so totally on the same page. Great talk, man. I feel better. Me too. <laughs> It's like, if I'm already paying twenty four ninety five for rope, you mm -hmm. know, it could at least be rope that's not gonna irritate my skin so much, yeah. you know? Like, it makes you wonder... Where's our money exactly. going? Exactly. Oh my god. Hey, Graham. Do you think that sometimes we complain too much about things that are gonna be totally okay? No. Oh, nah. It is going to be okay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Well, listen, um, thanks, thanks for being a, a good listener today. Anytime. Oh. No, 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 no! Oh. Son of a bitch! <laughs> listen to that any day! <laughs> <laughs> Pick up your fucking controller. You always ask about my broken bones. You already know the birthday cards aren't funny anymore, or they never were. I don't really get the feeling. Want me for your own? If we're going, then let's go too far. Yeah, you have to throw a stick. Let's try the stick.